Welcome to Demystifying the Metaphysical, here to help you find more compassion in your life. Today we're going to discuss the variations of the water hand and how these differences alter the water personality. Stay till the end to find out if you have additional water energy in your astrology sign, life path number, fingerprint pattern, or personality type. Here are the four different hand types. Click on the card on the top right or the link in the description below for the video to determine your hand shape. A quick recap of the two features we're looking at when determining your hand shape. First is the shape of your palm. It could either be squared or rectangular. And the second feature is the length of the fingers. We measure this by comparing the length of the middle finger to the length of the palm. If the two are about the same, you have long fingers. Otherwise, your fingers are considered short. The water hand has rectangular palms and long fingers. The green and the red line on the hand on the right are the same length. This is to help us to see how long the middle finger is compared to the palm. The middle finger on this hand is longer than three quarters the length of the palm, so the finger on this hand are considered long. In general, water types are intuitive, creative, compassionate, and dreamy. They like to take things at their own pace and are quite patient. They are usually analytical and need time to themselves to recharge. Often they are very detail oriented and when they are out of balance, they can become indifferent or can be overcome by fear. The first variation we're going to look at is the thickness of the palms. Typically the water palm is thin. When a water palm is thick, the person is much more in touch with the physical world and less dreamy. And as we'll see later, depending on which section of the fingers or the hand is the thickest, this will help us figure out which aspect of your life you place the most importance on. Now let's take a closer look at the palms. The edges of the rectangular palm can vary quite a bit. This hand on the left has softer curved edges, while the hand on the right has very straight and sharp corners. So how does this modify your character? Typically, water types are thinkers. With curved edges, their ideas are creative. The benefits of having straight edges on a water hand is that their thoughts tend to be more practical and logical. Now let's take a look at how the fingertips can alter the water type. Sensitivity pads are the droplet-like dots on the fingertips on the hand on the left. These can make a person who is already quite delicate even more sensitive. Now let's take a look at how the finger joints can alter the water type. Smooth joints are when the knuckles of the fingers don't stick out. You can tell if a person has knotty fingers if you see gaps between the fingers when the fingers are held together. Smooth joints adds to the water type's intuitive abilities. Knotty joints can make the water type person who's already very much in their heads become an overthinker. And when the water hand is flexible, meaning it can bend backwards easily, like the hand on the left, this person prefers to go with the flow and can easily adapt to any situation. Earlier, I mentioned that we'll dig deeper into where your interest lies. In order to figure this out, we'll need to know which of the three worlds you live in. There are two things we need to look at. First is to take a look at which section of your fingers is most developed. And the second is to look at which part of your hand is most developed. Taking a look at the three different sections on the fingers of this hand, none of them seem to jump out at us as being over or underdeveloped. So these fingers are considered well balanced. Now looking at the whole hand and using the blue line as a guide, it looks like the middle section of the hand is most developed. This is usually the case when the thumb is set low on the palm. Check out the video on what your fingers say about you in the top right to learn more about how to tell if you have a low set thumb. When the middle section of the hand is most developed, the person is, lives in the practical world. This will mean that 
a water person who usually lives in the mental world will be able to leverage their analytical skills for business success. This person has realistic ideas and is able to use their practical experience to see them through. And we'll conclude the video by taking a look at water elements in other areas of the spiritual world. We won't be going into how each of these are assessed in this video, but you can find links in the description below to learn more. If your astrology sign is either Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, this will add to your water energy. Likewise, if your life path number is a 2, 7, or 22, this will strengthen your water characteristics. And if you have mostly loop fingerprints, you have a bit more water in you. And finally, if your personality type is any of the four here, it makes you more watery. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to share, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.